And um, my own interest in allotments started with, um, um, I always had an interest in environmental issues and um, I have a background in ecology and UCC. And uh, it's only after, in the last few years, I started learning how uh, unsustainable and like socially and environmentally damaging the current, our, current, our current food system is. And uh, John mentioned a lot of things about um, food security. And something that sort of uh, scares me is that, um, like in 2008, when the price of oil was, was going through the roof in Spain and Portugal, the, the truckers had gone on strike over the cost of diesel. And they reckoned that the, the supermarkets were running out of food. And similarly, in, back in 2000 or in 2001, the truckers went on strike in the UK. And the head of Sainsbury's had to write to Tony Blair to tell him that they needed to sort it out because there would be no food in the supermarkets by the end of the week. And the Irish situation is, is very similar. Like there's, no, there's no insurance. If there was ever any uh, interruptions to trucks delivering food from abroad to Ireland, there's no backup in where we get our own food. So that's basically when I became much more concerned about where our food is our food is sourced and I just started growing food in my own back garden in a small patch but it never seemed enough so um, I was involved in the community association in Carrigaline and we did a survey just we tried to do a survey of all the houses in Carrigaline and just get an idea of what the people in Carrigaline wanted to see happen in their town and one of the outcomes of that survey was that it was something like 76% of the people who responded would have liked to have seen uh, some land in Cargline for the purpose of allotments or a community garden. And then um, CCAD came and gave um, sort of a consultation workshop where to just give information on their, their funding you can apply for, the different, the different projects you can, have, you can uh, apply for funding under. And uh, they did say that allotments was one of the things that you could possibly get funding under. So... Um, so, just give uh, what history there is of allotments in Ireland. I think it's generally seen as a very, up until recently, and it was very seen as a very English sort of idea, the allotments. But there were, in the past in Ireland, there were, there were some allotments, and they were mostly around the time of World War I when there was a risk of naval blockade and food shortages that people started growing food in allotments in, in uh, Dublin and Belfast. And I've also been told by other people that there used to be in Cork in Cork there was allotments around Bal- the Balathehan and Toker area and around the, the Capwell Road area as well and um, if anyone's from Carrigaline there was originally around the Stables Bar all the area behind the Stables Bar used to be allotments and um, there is a there is part of government legislation that covers allotments called the Acquisition, Acquisition of Land Act 1926 but it doesn't it doesn't obligate the County Council to provide allotments but if they if there is, if they feel there's sufficient demand, they can try go and acquire the land if it is available. But um, we discussed this with the county council, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a little while. Um, so, uh, how the Cargoline Group started was after the CCAD meeting. I was told that I had to have proof that there was a demand in Cargoline before we could ever go looking for funding. So um, I just simply put an ad in the local paper. Uh, looking for people and uh, I put an ad in the, the parish newsletter as well and then over the next few couple of weeks I got a list of about maybe a dozen people who got in t- who had gotten in touch with me and so we just met in a local pub one evening and we just discussed and how we were going to go forward with it and uh, so we then just put more ads put up posters in the town looking for a local landowner who might um have some land that they'd be willing to set aside for the allotments and almost almost straight away some somebody out in Ring of Bella got in touch and we went down and we met him and he was really enthusiastic and he was thinking we'd do a you know we'd set it up and we'd even have a food co-op and all this sort of thing and this was just coming up to Christmas of 2007 and uh, he was going to get back to me afterwards and in early January he had, he got back to say he'd changed his mind he was no longer interested and um, so we were all a bit disappointed but then uh, another person got in touch who was living just outside on the Ballin, along the Ballin Ray Road, just outside Cargoline. And uh, he showed us a site. It was a four acre field. It was south facing and it was, it, was, it was perfect. It was ideal in, in loads of respects. And, um, but he, he didn't want to have any involvement himself in the allotments. He just wanted to lease us the land. 
and not have to worry about anything else. So we went through this whole process of, uh, you know, with solicitors of getting a lease, putting a lease together and covering all the legal issues that were involved in that. And uh, so this went on for the whole of 2008. And at the very end of 2008, he changed his mind. So, <laughs> so we were back to square one, basically. And a lot of people were really fed up because during the year we had a, we had a big public meeting in Cargoline and it was fairly well attended. There was about 30 people at it who were all, they were all looking for the allotments. And then we had to go back and tell them that you know, we were back to square one, basically. But then uh, we were very fortunate that one person in our group, uh, uh, Tim, went to uh, Thompson's Farm Shop. I don't know if you know, if you're, know of that, it's on the, the cargo line to Crosshaven Road. But, uh, and we, we did initially approach them when he first started, but they weren't interested. And when he first started doing this, whenever you suggest allotments to people, they were like, you know, it was like news to them. And now, by the time it came around again a couple of years, well, a year later, everyone was talking with allotments and they were starting up everywhere. Because at the time we first started, there was just allotments, I think, only in Ladies Bridge out towards Castle Martyr. But now, if you even check the paper once a week, you'd almost see some, some new place starting up. So we got um, access to, a, it was around two acres at Thompson's Farm, and uh, the land had only been used for grazing. It, uh, there was, I don't think there was, I think he had put potatoes in it the previous year for his own, because he, uh, he has a shop there on his farm, and he sells veg, and there's a coffee shop there, and so it was ideal because like, he had the coffee shop, he had parking, he had toilet facilities, he had, uh, it, was just, it was just waiting for the allotments really, you know.